Yes.
And if you look at uh, her lifestyle, her schedule, she was a woman of arduous uh, stamina. Uh, she maintained a rigorous schedule of daily classes that spanned uh, a length of 12 hours a day. Uh, her drus would begin at 8 uh, a.m. in the morning and last until after Bukhar for uh, the women and the girls, after which she designated uh, a portion of time until uh, 8 p.m. for the men and the boys. And the only thing she would break for was uh, for the salah and, and for light meal. And her students came from all walks of life. It was uh, not just the hafad or the reciters, rather it was the doctors and the engineers, professors, high school students, college level students. She did not neglect or turn away anyone. People from all walks of life in various educational strata uh, were her students uh, coming and benefiting uh, from her knowledge. So she's really a woman that uh, stands to defy all odds, and which is why she's a true role model for us today. She was able to rise against her circumstances and obstacles, which are really there in the first place to see how badly you want to achieve your goals. She, uh, we say this because she completed her hip of Qur'an at a time when it was not as that common uh, to do so as it is today. In fact, the time when she finished memorization of Qur'an, there were a few hafal, not just among the women, but even among the men. And this is why they used to call upon her to recite Qur'an in mixed gatherings, which she used to do, because in general there were just not that many hafal to go around. So the point is that she completed uh, her hip, and not just that, but took it to the highest level and excel excelled at it, and a time that it wasn't as common as it later became. So what could have become a social roadblock for her, she didn't let it become a barrier. She overcame it. And beyond this, she had the very real uh, di dilemma of being physically handicapped. She had a permanently, uh, she was permanently impaired with blindness, but she didn't let that very real limitation stop her, while so many of us allow ourselves to become uh, self-limited by excuses uh, that we imagine to be real. The atqan or perfection that she received in her uh, field, she achieved in her field as a parent, she herself says, 60 years of memorizing the Qur'an and its recitations has made me unable to forget any of it. I can recall every ayah, its surah and its juz. I know the ayat that are similar, mutashabih, and how to recite the same ayah in different qara'at. I feel like I know the Qur'an like my name. I cannot imagine forgetting a letter of it or making a mistake in it. I don't know anything other than the Qur'an and its recitations. I never learned a science, never listened to a lecture, or memorized anything other than the Qur'an and the mutu that were related to the Qur'an and Tajweed. I don't know anything other than that. So this is a, a woman, a person who is completely absorbed uh, in the Qur'an and its sciences, completely devoted uh, herself to only that. So uh, the point being, no one should be satisfied to let their handicap or their social circumstance or their gender limit them uh, in any way. Further, she says regarding uh, the fact that she was a woman, she said, some of the men hesitated to recite to me considering that I'm a woman, and some refused. But Sheikh Muhammad Ismail, the most well-known Sheikh of Qur'an and Sunnah in Alexandria at the time, he actually gave a fatwa that they could learn because of the uh, advanced age she was in. And actually, in fact, this Sheikh sent his entire family to recite to Um Sa'af. So, you know, there's so many uh, uh, remarkable things that we can say about this extraordinary figure. What we want to end with, inshallah, is uh, her most special student. The most, in fact, her, uh, the most special student that she had was the most well-known reciter on uh, Alexandria uh, radio. And until his death uh, relatively recently, he was the most well-known uh, voice um, uh, on the radios in, in Egypt. And uh, in fact, this reciter was her student, and her closest student. He was the first to receive ijazah from her, and he did so in all ten qara'at. And once he completed those uh, ten qara'at, uh, he felt most entitled to ask for her hand in marriage, which he did, and um, she in fact accepted. And he is none other than the lucky Sheikh Muhammad Farid, <clears throat> who again astonishingly was also blind. And he had also completed the memorization of the Qur'an at an early age, like from Sa'ad had, so they were entirely compatible, they had a lot in common. She says herself about the story of her marriage, <clears throat> I was not able to keep my promise to my Shaykh Hanu Faisal. He used to recite to me and the Qur'an in all ten qara'at. I became comfortable with him, and he was like me that he was blind and memorized the Qur'an at an early age. I taught him for five years, and when he finished, he asked me for my hand in marriage, and I accepted. And of course, there were other people that were also uh, asking uh, the Shaykhah to marry 
uh, them. And in this, uh, Sheikh Muhammad, uh, in fact, verbally asserted that he felt he was most entitled because he was the first one to complete uh, with her. And he would actually say this uh, when the topic uh, came up. Uh, they were married for 40 years and they had no children. And on this point, she uh, Umsad comments saying, Alhamdulillah, I feel like Allah chooses for me the good always. Maybe if I had had children, I would have become busy with them and neglected the Qur'an or forgot it. Uh, so this actually is uh, insightful for uh, those of us that are mothers, uh, that you know, you become very uh, easy when we're trying to balance our roles to become uh, negligent, so we have to even be more careful, inshallah. Only four and a half years ago, uh, Umm Saad rahimahullah passed away on the 17th of Ramadan, uh, 1427, which corresponds to the 10th of October, uh, the year 2006. So uh, this presentation, the purpose was uh, to inspire all of us, uh, brothers and sisters, inshallah, to uh, continue to defy all odds and um, the, all the excuses that are presented before us and become uh, people of the Qur'an. Subhanakumma bihamdika ila 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 ila